She's got kind of a defiant smile there. Uh, you know, people, people are so cruel. You know, you can never go home again if you have to leave where you come from you can't go back you'll be the one who left you'll see people differently you won't fit in anymore they'll be suspicious of you are you patriotic? why did you leave? well you know blame the victim right? it's horrible being an immigrant absolutely horrible a tragedy and those Americans you know who've completely forgotten that in order to succeed as an immigrant you really have to have the pioneer spirit and most of the people who, who came to what's now the United States who went to what's now the United States they were not going to a better place they came from marvelous places Italy and Japan, wonderful places that they had to leave for one reason or another. It wasn't always their choice or to make money or to have fun, you know. It's very sad and with the realities of travel, you know, it's dangerous and it's expensive and you might not be able to go back you might be restricted in some way. Ah, oh, beautiful. Papua New Guinea. And of course when you go to live in a different country, in a different culture, you'll always notice the difference between those new people around you and the ones you knew back where you come from. And the slightest thing you say might be misconstrued. People can be so defensive. <coughs> and really so cruel. And words can hurt so badly. I've fallen into depression because of words. I've been very, very badly, badly hurt by words. Whoa, look at this. And of course, if you make any observations at all, people can be such hypocrites. All of a sudden, there's no more freedom of speech because you're talking and you're not saying what they want to hear. Ever notice that? 